Here is yet another example of a SQL interview question that you may come across. Uh, the example we have here, it's problem 181, employees earning more than their managers. So uh, the question says, the employee table holds all employees, including their managers. Every employee has an ID, and there's also a column for the manager ID. So we're only given one table here, and if we look at the values, uh, this is the employee ID, the employee name, the salary, and the manager ID. So for instance, Joe's manager would be Sam because his, you know, Joe's manager ID is three. And if you look up manager ID as an ID, that's when you get Sam. So accordingly, Henry's manager, manager ID four would be Max. So this is one example of when we actually need to self join to this table. Um, I, I also have a video on that, so I'll be sure to link that um, on the video so you could take a look at exactly how that works. Uh, but we'll go ahead and attempt this problem. But let me first write down what we need to do. So we've identified that we need to self-join um, to be able to extract the manager details or manager information. Uh, so second thing, what we need to solve for is given that, you know, employee table, write a SQL query that finds out employees who earn more than their managers. So that's what we need. We need to return a list of employees uh, whose salary, where the M salary is higher than the manager's salary. So that's what we need to solve for. So now that we've written that down, we can look into how to actually uh, accomplish that. So for the above table, Joe is the only employee who earns more than his manager. So in, in this scenario, if we write the query correctly, we would just get Joe because he's the only employee who earns more than in his uh, manager's salary. So uh, here's how we would write the query. Again, we have to do a self join. So first, uh, what we need to output, of course, is the name of the employee. And we're going to give this an alias because, again, we're self-joining. So we need to be able to identify if we're using the employee name or the manager name. So we need to return the employee name. So I'm just going to give that an alias of E when I call the table. You'll see what I mean here. So employee e so we're referencing the employee table we're going to give that table an alias of e that's how we know what we're talking about um, but then to again to extract the manager details we want to be able to you know join to that same table again and give that an alias of something like m so it's more obvious that we're referring to managers um, and again, uh, you're free to use whichever join here. It doesn't really matter. But for this context, I mean, if we're strictly comparing employees and managers, you know, a left join wouldn't really make sense. It would give you more data than you need to work with, but you're still going to end up with the same result because we're only going to show records where the employee makes more than the manager. So really an inner join is probably more optimal for this use case. Um, so with this join, we're going to be joining on what fields? So we're going to be joining on, uh, we want to be able to link the second calling of this table to the first one using the ID, right? So we're going to say the employee's manager ID, right? this guy right here has to equal the manager's ID. So what we're saying is, you know, join the two tables such that this record here connects to this record here, and it'll give me the manager's details uh, accordingly. Um, and as far as the filter, again, we only want to show records where the employee's salary is greater than the manager's salary so let's go ahead and run this and see how we did looks good hit submit everything looks good so that was uh, that was the solution so hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful please leave a like and a comment below and be sure to subscribe for more content thanks guys yeah.